Hi everybody, I'm Armesto. You may know me from my City Builders episode where I talked about recreating our local heritage and the importance of preserving it, or my custom assets on Steam Workshop. I'm here today to present my new content creator pack published by Paradox Interactive, Bridges and Piers. This pack features bridges from different parts of the world, as well as keys and decorative piers. I hope that you find them useful and that they bring life to your cities. With many diverse styles of networks, from ancient stone bridges to colorful truss viaducts, strong granite seawalls capable of keeping the ocean out, to charming spaces for citizens to walk around your rivers on the dual level keys. The pack is composed of seven road bridges, three train bridges, two pedestrian bridges, 14 keys, and two piers in various European and American styles. I want to give you a small preview of all of them, and some tips on how to get them to look the best in terms of realism. Keep in mind, you don't need any mods to get this to look amazing, but if you play on a platform that does support them, you should look to get some that will add a lot more control over your build. Let's take a look at them. Road bridges come in two different styles, European and American. Each set has three different sizes, with two, four, or six lanes. They all include custom sidewalks, so you can use them as regular roads around your city to have six new styles. The European bridges are based on some from Paris. Their beautiful stone arch structures fit nicely in any old city center. American ones, on the other hand, are a mix of truss metal bridges and stone for a more stylized and modern look. I took inspiration from Chicago and Washington. Let's see if you can recognize them. There is also a highway bridge with a slight arch that really gives that 70s construction feeling in case you want to add some variation to your urban motorways. The pack also features two pedestrian bridges, one from each region. If you would like a lovely, wide and walkable bridge, the European one might be a better match, with these beautiful metal arches. The American one is a lot smaller and should be a perfect bridge to cross small gaps, maybe in a rural setting or a park. Next, we have three train viaducts. Two small truss structures for a single rail based on my homeland Galiza with their vivid colors, and a modern looking double way viaduct based on the common ones for high speed lines. Moving on to the keys, we have a set of river walls, based on the look of the ones in Paris. This pack of six networks has several variations, with single walls, two levels and flat walkable surfaces. The seawall set features eight variations, again with single walls, two levels and stairs, based on Coruña. One of the best features they have is that they also work as pathways, so if you connect them to a pedestrian path, citizens will use them, making your city feel a lot more alive. Check the arrows in the thumbnails before placing them, as they will tell you where citizens will walk, as some of them allow for walking on both levels. Lastly, there are two decorative piers that fit pretty nicely with these keys. I recommend you to use them together to give a bit more variety. When playing with the contents of this pack, I would recommend it to try to place them as much like in real life as possible. Try to place them straight, on level with the water, and without making intersections on the elevated segments. The bridges are not very tall in real life, so they will look better if you don't place them too high in the air. Of course, these are suggestions to get them to look as nice as possible. Feel free to use them however you see they fit in your cities. Creative freedom is one of my favorite aspects of City Skylines, and I can't wait to see how you use my assets. Feel free to tag me on Twitter to show me your screenshots. I hope you have all the information now to use Bridges and Pier to its full potential. Thanks again to Paradox Interactive for giving me this opportunity as well as all the people in this community for your amazing support. And special thanks to Rebo for his great help making this pack. Without him, this wouldn't have been possible. If you don't have it yet, you can find links to the store in the description. And as you scroll down, why not subscribe too? I'm Armesto. Thanks for watching and never stop building.